I recently met the author of a book called The Corporate Introvert. And actually, he was a really nice guy, spent his whole career working for Shell, and he worked inside company as an introvert. And now that he's retired, he wants to help introverts figure out how to thrive. And I'll tell you, my favorite quote on the outside of the book is, the corporate introvert doesn't seek to change you, but instead it reveals how you can be a great leader and still be you. You know, when I speak, I talk a lot about this spectrum of introverts and extroverts when it comes to networking and building relationships. And I think it's really important for introverts to know that introverts are better networkers. Now, this is what I talk about. I'm not sure what Steve talks about in his book because he just gave this to me a few hours ago. But in leafing through it, I will tell you, it's a wonderful resource for people who see themselves as an, as an introvert who want to thrive in business. So I recommend you go get a copy of The Corporate Introvert. But I wanted to take a minute to talk to all of you about my belief of why introverts are better at networking than extroverts. Now, I'm an extrovert, and I think it's a shame that our society over the years has championed the extrovert over the introvert. Because let's face it, people fall somewhere on this spectrum from being pretty extroverted, like I am, to being much more introverted. But it doesn't make them a better or a worse person. And it's not about whether or not they like people or they, they, they enjoy relationships. It's really about where do we get our energy? As an extrovert, I get charged up from being around other people. And I love going to conferences and meeting people and the happy hour and the lunch. That's the best part of the day for me. But for many introverts, they get drained from that social interaction, especially when they're with a lot of people who they don't know. And if they haven't learned how to sort of turn it on and, and function in those, in those settings, they can become very drained. And that's horrible. If you, you're just wiped out after you go to a conference or a networking event, you find yourself avoiding those types of, of gatherings. And yet, I believe that introverts are better networkers. And the reason for this is because introverts aren't always talking about themselves. In fact, the way most introverts navigate a networking event is they ask a lot of questions and then they listen. And I'll tell you, in what I teach organizations, whether it's introverts or extroverts or somebody in the middle, that's what I teach people. The more you can get other people to talk and the more you can listen, the better chance you have of building long-term and mutually beneficial relationships. So here's the thing. There's a lot of people who host events and talk about, oh, I hate networking or people do networking wrong or, you know, this is the old way of networking. And, and they act like everywhere you go, every person you meet is like shoving business cards in your hand. I don't think I've ever been to an event where that's been the majority of people. Now, I certainly have met really bad networkers who walk up, shove their card into your hand and just start talking to you. They recite their elevator pitch, whether you care or not. But that's not what happens at most networking events with most people. That is the exception. So I get a little turned off when people try to put down, oh, traditional networking events are so horrible. No, they're not. Traditional networking events are made up of business professionals who come together at an organization where they share something in common, hoping to make connections where they're going to be able to help each other and advance their careers. Let's face it, you're going to get more out of a career when you have a lot of connections to people. Because all opportunities in life come from people. And the definition of networking isn't what some of these people who are like, I hate networking. It's not what they make up, you know, and say, oh, networking is going to the Chamber of Commerce event with, you know, stale cheese and cheap wine and shoving cards at as many people as you can and gathering cards and then sending LinkedIn requests to a billion strangers. That's not what it means to network. The definition of networking is the creation of long-term and mutually beneficial relationships between two or more people where everyone involved finds more success because of those relationships than they would have had without them. Now, what part of that says, you know, smart me people going up, shoving their card in your hand and doing all this stuff? Nowhere. That's not what it talks about. It talks about the creation of long-term and mutually beneficial relationships. I want you to think about that. Mutually beneficial relationships. That's what networking is, which means if you want to be successful in building these relationships, you have to be willing to help other people. You have to be willing to give. And this has been true forever. The people who are the most successful at building a network 
are the people who ask a lot of questions, who listen, and then who find a path of how they can help other people. And that's why I believe introverts are better at this. So go get yourself a copy of The Corporate Introvert and follow me for more tips on how, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, you're going to be able to thrive when you build those relationships that have meaning. It's not about taking, 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 looking for people who can help you. Think about this. When you go to a networking event, do you walk in going, I hope a bunch of people come and sell to me? No, you don't think that. But when you go to a networking event, do you think, hey, hey, I hope there's someone here who can help me? Yeah, you probably think that, which means go into the networking event with the intention of helping as many people as you can. And some of those people and some of the other people who you're not even able to help might do the same back for, for you. And don't keep score. And don't try to think that just because someone's an extrovert, they have the advantage in networking. If you're an introvert, take hold of your birthright that you are better at this because you will ask questions, you will listen, you will build connections. So let's quit fighting between who's better, introverts or extroverts. Neither are better. We're all people and we're all engaged in business. The population is pretty evenly split. So you don't have to be an extrovert to thrive in business. You don't have to be an extrovert to thrive at a networking event. You just have to be a human who cares about other people. My name is Tom Singer, and I hope you liked this video. Do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, and come back and look at the other videos that I have on how do you build uncommon connections, not just likes, links, shares, and follows, but real meaningful relationships that lead to opportunity for everybody.